Good morning. So we're going to talk about constructions today. Uh, geometric constructions are basically just making copies of shapes. So let's say we have um, some kind of line. Oh, in order to draw a line, I need a straight edge. Whenever we're making copies in a geometric fashion, we're not going to use measurements at least not in the sense that we're going to say, hey, we're going to make a 6-inch segment or a 32-degree angle or things like that. When we're copying constructions, we have to use principles of straight lines and circles. So I'm going to use this as my straight edge, um, and this is my random segment. Now let's say I want to make a copy of that. I'll draw a line. Now, it looks like the line I've drawn is a little bit too long, which is okay. In fact, whenever you draw your first line when you're trying to make a copy, you want to make it a little bit long. If I want to copy this segment, I'm going to use a string as a compass. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop my marker through the string, and I'm going to move my uh, marker to draw circles. Let's see. I will measure from this point to this point. Now, if I drew a circle from the same, from of the same size, over here, then where this second circle intersects our line right here, these two distances are now the same. So, AB is segment AB is congruent to segment CD. We don't know how long they are, but we know that they're the same length. Now, we also want to be able to copy angles. So let's make a random angle. All right, that's a good random angle. I'm going to copy it down here. So in order to copy this one, again, we're going to use that circle trick. We're going to make two circles of the same size. One starting at these, this vertex of this angle, and one starting at this vertex of this angle. Now, if I use the string to measure from here to here, where the two pieces of the circle, where the arc of the circle intersects the angle, which I'll do right now, oop, then down here we can do the same thing. And if I collect, connect those two lines, where they intersect, our angles will be congruent. That looks like I wasn't perfectly lined up with my arcs. If I'd been more careful, this would be a more perfect copy. So we can copy angles, we can copy segments. We also need to be able to cut both of those things in half. So let's say I have a segment here. Segment AB. I want to cut segment A, B, in half. So in order to do that, I'm going to draw circles again. I'm going to draw a circle from point A and a circle from point B. And they're going to be of equal size. Now, you'll notice that my circles intersect the line in two different places, so we can't say that that's where the middle is. but. If we connect these two points where the circles intersect, then point C is the midpoint. Of AB. We also know that this segment is perpendicular. So this is a perpendicular bisector. So we cut it in half and we made a right angle. Two for one. Okay, what about cutting an angle in half? Let's make an angle. In order to make an angle in half, you're going to make three circles of the exact same size. The first circle is going to be centered at the vertex of the angle. The next two circles are going to be centered at the points where your first circle intersected the angle. Doo -doo 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 -doo. 
Now, will those second circles intersect? If you connect the vertex to that point, you have an angle bisector. So now we can cut an angle in half. We can cut a line in half. We can copy a line. We can copy an angle. Last thing we want to do is make parallel lines. Now, in order to make a parallel line, oops, probably should make a straight line. Let me try that again. In order to make a parallel line through any given point not on the line, there's only one line that passes through that that's parallel. And it's going to look something like this. We're not 100% sure. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy a line like this. Now what we need to do in order to make a parallel line is we're going to make a pair of congruent angles. Now we're going to do that just like we did before. We're going to draw a circle centered at one vertex and where our other vertex should be. So these two circles are of the same radius. One circled at this point, one centered at that point, one centered at that point. Now I can measure the distance in between this arc, I'm in between these two rays. I'm going to copy that up here. And where this point intersects, this line right here is our parallel line. And those are the basic constructions you need to understand in order to complete geometry.